now today we will see things in iot so up till now we have discussed so many points related with things 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 or objects in your iot so what exactly those things are or how those things can be identified in your iot application so let me clear you that the things in your iot will be any physical thing that you can see by your eyes and that you can touch by your hand it can be anything it can be your pen it can be your key of vehicle it can be your table chair bottle anything can be the part of your iot application but that will be because of your what various sensor if you wish to include let's say your pen in your iot application so what you need to do is you need to attach one sensor to that particular pen so that that sensor will treat your pen as a physical object as a part of your iot application so whenever you wish to include any physical object from your real world into your iot application so you must use either sensor or you must use either actuator for those particular things to be included in your iot application so there are so many sensors available that can be used to develop or that can be used to implement any iot application depend on the application what you are going to do these sensors can be used so we will see what exactly the sensor is the characteristics of any device or material to detect presence of particular physical quantity is nothing but your what sensor what sensor will do sensor will going to detect the presence of physical quantity whether that object or whether that thing is physically available or not that can be physically checked by the sensor and all its properties will be identified by the sensors the output of any sensor will be your signal which is converted into the human readable form whatever sensor will going to generate that will be the signal and that signal will be converted into the different form which is usually read by the human being because we are not able to read the signals that's why those signals should be converted into the form which is usually readable by the human being sensors can perform some functions of input by sensing or phasing or uh, filling physical changes in the characteristic of a system in presence of stimuli so what exactly the sensor will going to do it will going to sense or it will going to feel some physical changes in the characteristics of any of the system in response to your what various stimuli available so the sensor will going to check whether the room temperature is available or not what will be the room temperature what will be the room humidity what is the physical presence of your physical object let's say usually what happen you forget where you have kept your specs or you forget where you have kept the key of your car or bike so that particular sensor will be helpful to locate the exact location of your pen or whatever will be your object so this is what it will going to sense or it will going to feel the physical changes in the characteristics of a system so usually sensor will going to detect the physical presence of any of the object or any of the things in real world input for sensor will be the physical parameter or your you can say stimuli physical parameter means what where exactly that particular object is what is the location of that object or whether that object is present or not everything related the physical quantity will be the input for your sensor for example temperature light gas pressure and sound these are what these are some example of your what input this this can be the input for your sensor and on the basis of that particular input sensor will going to generate some signal but those signals cannot be read by human being that's why those signals will be converted into the human readable form so whatever temperature we know 27 degree 29 degree that is the human readable form but the dst sensor will going to generate this 
temperature value in terms of some signal which is not easily readable by the human being and output will be the response to your stimuli now we will see various sensor like your this is your sensor number 1 dst22 sensor this is temperature and humidity sensor the name itself suggests that what it will going to do it will going to detect the temperature and humidity in the atmosphere if you wish to detect the room temperature or if you wish to detect the humidity presence in your room then you are going to use this dht sensor it can be dht11 or it can be dht22 sensor but this particular sensor will be useful for detecting the room temperature and humidity in your room then this will be your gas sensor this sensor will usually detect the gas leakage or this will going to detect the gas available in the room so which kind of gas it can going to detect your lpg ch4 or co carbon dioxide or uv these different gases can be detected by this particular sensor which is your mq5 sensor then next one is your ultrasonic sensor this ultrasonic sensor will going to detect the physical object it can be any of the physical object can be detected by this ultrasonic sensor there are two cylinders one cylinder will going to emit let's say various sound waves in the atmosphere if there will be any object in in front of that particular sound wave what will happen that sound wave will going to break and it will going to detect the object is present in the in front of that particular sensor because of your second cylinder so this is what your ultrasonic sensor this is your cmos camera this camera can be used you know the functionality of camera then this is your pir sensor pir sensor will usually detect human being or animals which is present in front of that particular sensor there is a difference between pir sensor and ultrasonic sensor pir sensor will usually detect human being or animal whereas ultrasonic sensor can detect any object it can be the living thing or non living ultrasonic sensor will going to detect both the things but pir sensor will usually detect your what human being or animals then next one is your rain detector sensor the name itself suggests that this particular sensor will be used to detect the rain then this is your fire detector sensor again the name itself suggests that this particular sensor will be used to detect the fire present in your various location if you observe the at in the mall or in cinema halls you can see in the ceiling there will be one white uh, object is placed so that particular object whenever you will see there will be fire alarm or there will be some fuels uh, gas will be there this particular detector or this particular sensor will start alarming the situation then again these are some more sensors that can be used nowadays you can see various sensor let's say this is color sensor that will going to detect the color gas sensor the name itself suggests that alcohol sensor will going to detect the alcohol smoke sensor ldr sensor light sensor we can say or rain sensor pir sensor water flow ir ultrasonic soil moisture sensor gyroscope photo transistor and so on so many sensors are there and those sensors can be used to develop any of the iot application so this is what various sensor these are various sensors that can be used in your iot application then the second thing in your iot will be actuator so what exactly the actuator is it is a part of the system that deals with the control action required usually the action related with your mechanicals so actuators will going to deal with your what various actions various mechanical actions related things can be detected by the actuators and actuator will going to have the mechanical obstacle or mechanical things that can be embedded into it and those particular mechanical device will going to decide whether it, how it should work 
actuators can be either your mechanical or it will be your electromechanical devices if you are going to use the actuator the input for actuator will be energy and signal and it will going to generate either the motion or force so this is what the actuator will work actuator will have energy and signal as an input and it will going to generate the motion or force in terms of your mechanical or electromechanical device a control signal is input to an actuator and an energy source is necessary for its operation that we already discussed in previous diagram it is available in both micro and macro scales the size of actuator will be it can be either micro or it will be your macro various examples of your actuators are electric motor solenoid hard drive stepper motor and combo drive so these are some examples of your what actuator whatever dc motor you know that particular dc motor will be your what actuator and relay can be the treated as your what actuator the work of relay is to turn on and to turn off the things now we will see the classification of sensors and actuator so we will see how sensors are classified in various categories we will see just the classification part sensors are classified into passive and active sensors analog and digital sensor and third one is your scalar and vector sensors so the sensors are classified in these categories passive and active analog and digital scalar and vector sensors whereas the actuator can be divided into electric linear actuator electric rotary actuator fluid power linear fluid power rotary linear chain actuator linear manual actuator and manual rotary actuator so these are what various types of your actuators and these are various what types of your sensors